Okay. I'm telling you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all the subscribing. Thank you for the beautiful comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. And to make this go to where you're going to say, whoa, watch this. you got to see this. Okay. This is the older Mona Lisa. This is the younger Mona Lisa. She's in her teens. This is in her in her later age. Being serenaded by an extremely handsome man. It's one of Leonardo da Vinci's lost painting that I have found. So it's not lost no more. Guess what? Over 500 YouTubes and approximately seven years of heavy work. Now, you see this, you can't beat it. It looks like a C and it looks like a backwards five and many other little doodads. Let me blow that up just a little for you before we continue and I'll <laughs> show you that it is this icon. You see? It's kind of like a backwards five or an S. I'll make it a little bigger for you. Okay? All right. Now you know what we're looking at. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put this down. This is in my painting. And in my painting, it is approximately right in this area. Okay, it's an x-ray. For a long time, I, it, it, he's a stylist. For a long time, here's his hair, here's his eye, here's his big eye, and that's it, okay? And with his long, slinky nose. Whoa. Well, I was on another quest, and I decided um, somehow to go into some of my old archive stuff and I have found on a bad image, <laughs> always good can be bad. Okay, remember, good can be bad. I mean, bad can be good. Ah, okay, I'm getting it reversed. Okay, that's not it. This, this is from an old x-ray of that big S. Now you have to really pay attention. See how this um, looks like this big S, okay? That's what this is, but when it's blown up, it's in here is these guys and these guys are this guy now I'm gonna put it off to the side this one and I have to kind of walk you through it so bear with me it's gonna come out numbers and letters and everything if you look how it has the hair and it comes on down. It has the hair and comes on down. It has this long slinky nose and it has the big eye and the big eye. And it has the big eye and the big eye over here. But this one's in more detail on the top layer. And I'm going, how come something looks so still familiar on, on these images? Look at, see this round face? An eye and an eye. Here's this round face. An eye and an eye. But here's this woman. This is a woman with an eye and an eye looking straight over. Here is an eye and an eye, but it's not looking straight over. But the eyes are up here. That's the way he fools, just like he fooled on this. It's in the different colors, like the transparency. And the proof is going to be on the overlay. I'm going to overlay it for you, for you to see. 
uh, but and you're going to see the letters match identically. This is this is so cool. It's uh, I anyway. So you got this woman, this gorgeous woman, right there, staring this way, and you got this eh, goofy looking guy <laughs> staring at her forehead. But, or, but it's actually got eyes on her forehead because he builds his images on a totem pole. You can see this guy. This is a guy right here. Slinky, like sitting down like on a toilet or something. And here's his face. And you can see that same guy right here. Here he is. Anyway, so I'm going to overlay this real quick for you. Oh, that's a beautiful doggy. Beautiful doggy. Okay, so I'm going to overlay this for you. And you're going to see how these, these eyes match perfectly. And when you got her face that comes on down is right here. So when you put it on down and you, you move it up with, the, with, there's her eye and there's her eye. So she's down here also that did not fulfill in the x-ray only a portion of a half a mask. So that means this portion up here on her forehead on up is another person. And it is, because here it is. An eye and an eye Googling at each other. Gets better, much better. If you take a look, here's a big R. Out of the faces, he makes the lettering, a big R or uh, like a tuning fork and a tuning fork making into R's. And if you look, here they are. Like the tuning fork right here guy coming down. You see in the color of the transparency, he changed the color to where, look at, see? You can see the back layer and going over in this way. Put it back, here it is, boom, boom. And you, you, you can see. And then you follow it on down, stops to here, and stops to here. He has a person's face right in there. Okay, okay, this this gets really good. Now, if you follow these these letters that run across here, they match identically in this area. Now, this this one looks like a Y. Okay, and you got a person's head there. Then you got kind of like another person that represents part of a Y. Then you have three lines. See? One, two, three lines here. Person that represents a Y. And here's like another Y. Oh, that's actually got a person's head in it. In that Y too. See? You have to, you really have to get into it. And then you pull this down. Here is an N, a V, an A. You can't see those too well. They're kind of blacked and blown over. But you can see how the letters still flow through. So if I put this over here and continue with the lettering, which it does, oops, put this over the top. You got these letterings. That looks like an A. You got to check it. It kind of looks part like if it was divided, it would be. But you do have one over here that looks like an E. So let me get this lined up. And it runs off the page. How oh, lucky of me while I'm doing this. Okay, let's see if I can stretch that one little bit. That looks like an F or an E. And all it has is a line here with, with a space in the middle and it's blacked out. 
So it doesn't really matter in a sense, even though he hides it so well, I would have to go on to different transfers. You can see how these uh, certain letters match. You can see how the person matches. You can even see the line that comes, his hair comes, and these eyes and the faces, how they, they go. And this is a beautiful woman staring at him. And you got the same thing that's in the Mona Lisa. The same. Here it is. Lovers. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. And I want you to give me a thumbs up. And I want you guys to don't forget to say your prayers. See that woman? See this woman's face? See this man's face? And over here, that is the same in an x-ray though, it's going to be different. And here is the woman's face and the woman's half face right here. You can see the eye and the eye and half the face. The rest of it would have flown down here, which I will get into more. But you can see, truly see, that they are... Look at that, it's got the big letters up on top. Wow, it shows up totally different. It shows up totally different and better through, through that. You guys always end up helping me. You guys are a blessing. Look at that. Look at the letters. Look at those letters up here. Kind of looks like a PPA. R K Y or something. You see what I'm talking about? Look at that. Kind of looks like a P A or R A boom K Y or something. Here's here's look at these look at these letters. Whoops, let me uh scoot this up. I'm going to scoot this. Look at that. Here's a Y. Here's a Y. A Y. And a Y. And this big letter here, it's kind of like a K. And this one looks kind of like a D and an X. You know, I don't know. But still, it's amazing how the writing is exactly in the same area. So, hey, again, don't forget to say your prayers. Don't forget to stay inside. Don't forget to turn around and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to not forget. And, um, wow. I can't help myself watching this thing. It's awesome. Leonardo da Vinci's greatest works is in my painting, and my painting's in Leonardo's greatest works. And I got over 500 YouTubes to prove it, so uh, keep looking, keep watching. Uh, don't forget, it's free to hit the subscribe button. So hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. God bless you. Amen.